Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm continuing my first Terraria playthrough. If you like the video, consider subscribing and join the community on Twitch and Discord. Links to both of those are down below. Alright, so first up, I need to make the void bag. And thanks to people in the comments, I checked what you actually need to make it, and you don't need vines at all. So, that's just fantastic. After looking through my stuff, it looks like the only thing I need are some more shadow scales, so we'll have to go and get those. After mining out a small part of corrupted area, it was time to take on this guy again. It wasn't super hard, I mean I've done it before, and now I have the knight's edge, so I was really just able to stand in a spot and cut down anything that came at me. So yeah, that was an easy fight. After that, I just went and made the void bag, so hopefully our inventory problems will be all good now. And then we discussed wings and which ones would be the easiest to get. After looking through them for a while, looks like we're going to go with the fairy wings. We just need to get 99 pixie dust. But before that, we also need to get five more souls of flight, which was pretty easy. And to get the fairy dust, we just killed a ton of pixies. It took a while, but it worked pretty well. After that, we just made the wings. So yeah. These are actually pretty awesome, just because I can now fly just a whole lot higher, and you can just kind of float down if you want to, so you can really stretch out how far you can go. After that, we made an imp staff, because someone in the chat suggested it. It's not super amazing, I mean, now I can have two buddies because of the bewitching table, but neither of them were super effective against any enemies, so it is what it is. We actually decided that I need to take a quick break to save the jungle from the corruption because otherwise there were going to be problems. So we decided to dig straight down so that we could cross the temple so that we wouldn't have to dig quite as much. So after picking up all the supplies we needed, I was able to just go for it. It wasn't super difficult this time around, of course it wasn't easy. Don't worry everyone, I was making sure that this thing is wide enough. No one freak out in the comments. But at one point, something crazy happened. I was working on this chasm, and I got a message saying, You feel vibrations from the deep. Thinking that this was going to be some kind of boss, I immediately tried to get out of there and ran to the arena. And lucky I did, because as soon as I got there, a, a boss spawned. I think this was the destroyer of worlds and yeah it wasn't great i was able to do quite a bit of damage really quickly but unfortunately he has a ton of health and all these lasers just killed me right away also while digging straight down i don't know what happened here i think my imp shot the little bee spawner thing and so we got into another one of these fights which wasn't great because there really wasn't any area for a fight set up yet. But it doesn't really matter. I was able to take down the bee even though it was a whole lot closer than I would have wanted. And we eventually made it all the way down to the temple, putting us like two thirds of the way there. So that wasn't bad. After that, we just continued digging down through the chasm at the bottom of the temple. It was a whole lot harder but after coming up with just new ways to avoid the lava and still shoot down bombs, it really wasn't that difficult. And eventually we made it all the way down. Unfortunately, we got another message that pirates had arrived. This was immediately a problem because right out of the gate, I was taking a ton of damage. These guys were killing me and killing me and killing me. I'm going to skip all the times I died past that, but I'm sure you'll see the gravestones in the next few shots. But someone in chat told me to barricade myself in, and then I was able to just do damage without taking any. I was able to do this for a while, and then the Flying Dutchman showed up, so I was a little bit worried. But no fear, it didn't actually do anything. After that, I just finished the waves, and then decided to go after the Dutchman. This wasn't too difficult, I just kind of flew around and hit the cannons, and yeah, I was eventually able to defeat it, so that was pretty awesome. The best part about the whole thing though, 
was once I ran around and collected all the gold they had dropped, I had over three platinum. So I feel like I'm set for quite a while. After that though, I was back to the adamantite grind and I only needed a little bit more. So I found a few more spots with ore veins and made myself the adamantite armor. So now my armor will hopefully be so much better. I also thought it would be hilarious if I just left the molten armor on as like vanity items. That way people in the comments would still be yelling at me about it, but I decided against it. But that's all for this time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope you have a fantastic day.